My name is Holly. I'm a Kiwi, but I currently live here in Manchester. Um, I love cats and coffee and pretty much with anything glitter on it. And I also happen to have a long-term house condition. And this began in 2011 when I was unexpectedly diagnosed with chronic kidney disease. Hi, my name is Holly. I'm 32 and I have a kidney transplant. I received my kidney transplant three and a half years ago after experiencing kidney failure as a result of an autoimmune condition. Um, throughout my experience of having to obviously cope with my condition and learn to manage it, I have benefited hugely from a personalised care approach. The reason behind my kidney failure is an autoimmune disease called FSGS. This stands for Focal Segmental Glomerulosclerosis, which I taught myself to say just because I wanted to. Essentially, this means that my immune system, it doesn't recognise my kidneys as being part of my body and attacks them in much the same way a healthy person's immune system would attack and try and fight off a cold or an infection. I have just delivered a presentation about my own experience of personalised care and how this approach has benefited me and I hope that as a result of what I've said today, some of the delegates attending will feel really encouraged to appreciate the amazing difference that they have the ability to make. I was diagnosed with my condition quite unexpectedly at the age of 24 and the impact of this on my entire life was huge. I went from being completely healthy, quite career driven and determined and having a really strong idea of what I wanted to do with the rest of my life to suddenly being landed with my diagnosis as a huge curveball impacting absolutely everything that I could do and thought that would be a possibility for me in the future. This was the first time I'd ever been in hospital as an adult, so I had pretty much no idea what to expect. Obviously I was physically there at the hospital and I was the one who was feeling unwell and having the tests and at that stage sitting in the consultation room being discussed, a very significant change happened for me when I started seeing a consultant who told me that my medical condition didn't have to stop me. Yes, it might mean that certain things needed a bit more planning or might take longer than they otherwise could have done, but if there was even the slightest opportunity to find a way around something, I should take advantage of it. Before I received my transplant, I had to go on to dialysis and I was very fortunate to have a very good relationship by that point with the nurses and the medical team who were looking after me. And this relationship allowed me to have a very proactive role in making decisions about what dialysis treatment I was going to choose. I was able to do my dialysis overnight at home while I was asleep and then get up in the morning and go on with life. My kidneys continued to deteriorate and I was activated on the transplant list. This period was really difficult because, I, but I was very lucky that I didn't just go to clinic to passively sit there and be told what was going to happen to me. I wasn't just seen as my NHS number. Instead, I was a very proactive member of my own medical team and decisions were made based around the things that mattered to me at this point in my life. In the end, I think what made the biggest difference to me overall was the realisation that even though my kidney disease is going to be lifelong, it's incurable, it's never going to go away completely, and there was nothing that I could do to make that happen, what I could do was have a great deal of influence over how I chose to manage it and how I chose to cope. The hours and hours that I spent in their office weren't just spent discussing how bad my health was. We also talked about life outside of clinic, the things that I wanted to do and what was important to me in general. On October the 8th, 2016, I received a kidney transplant from a deceased donor. Although it took two weeks to begin to work, I've been very, very lucky to have had few complications and good physical health ever since. I really, really hope that I'll be able to use the positive experience that I've had to work within 
co-production groups on both a local and a national level to come to various events like the one I'm here at here today to speak to a very wide variety of medical professionals and be able to encourage them to understand the real impact that they have and the opportunity to be a very positive influence on the lives of patients that they meet. Mm -hmm.